Uh, my name is Matt Hollebeck. I'm uh, uh, 33. I'm from Waco, Texas. Uh, just come out here to run a Texas True 10-5 uh, tonight with some of these guys and hopefully run a decent number and go some rounds. All right. Uh, the car is a, a 93 uh, Camaro. It's a True Z28. And uh, it came with a, an LT1 motor, but we got rid of that some years back and uh, put a, uh, an LS motor in. So now it's got a 427 uh, cubic inch uh, hydraulic roller uh, 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 dart block in it uh, with an LS2 style head um, with a nitrous outlet uh, Stinger 2 plate on there. And um, pretty pretty basic setup, nothing magical. Uh, we're uh, spraying 400 to it tonight. And um, like I said, hopefully we go a round or two. Uh, and, uh, yeah, a 12 bolt rear end, 390 gears, uh, power glide. Uh, pretty pretty simple stuff. Hopefully they go straight, and I just hope everyone's safe. Yes, sir. I want everyone yes, to be sir. safe and not get any accidents. Yeah, these are pretty pretty dangerous cars. Uh, <laughs> yes, they are. Five. It, stuff can happen real, happen very fast, especially when they're opened up. Yes, sir. Yeah, and we uh, you know, we come out here to open it up. We put a Holly EFI on the car. I would never build another race car without it again. <laughs> just the technology. It's the latest and greatest technology. You can keep. It has fail safes on it to keep a motor alive. So let's say. We have a targeted air fuel ratio on the nitrous, you know, a conservative, you know, 12 and a half, 13 0. And if the motor for some reason shows a lean spike, it will correct it. It will throw more fuel at it at that mill in that millisecond and save the motor oh. instead of burning up pistons. So it automatically corrects itself. Correct, yes. Mm -hmm. See with a carbureted car, your motor's done. It happens so fast you can't let off the gas quick enough. It, you, you, you've already burned up pistons. It's, you know, so I have I have not heard anything this year. Knock on wood. Uh, you know, it's, but yeah, with the EFI, there's, I like I said, I would not, never build another one without ho some kind of EFI management. We just decided to go with the Holly. It's been very good to us. Well, um, if I could do it all over again, all the money that I spent with this, if I could do everything over, I'd probably do a Pro Charger, like an F1. Uh, Nitrous is, I say, it's the easiest power adder to get into. You know, dollar wise. Um, but it's, you know, nitrous per pound is, you know, getting a little price, you know, five, six dollars a pound, which like I said, I don't, I don't, I don't drive the same on the street. I don't race on the street. So it's not a big deal to spend that kind of money out here just to go, you know, for some races. Uh, but it's definitely the most abusive, I'd say, at the hit, at the starting line, because it's so much cylinder pressure at one time. Like with the boosted motor, turbo, pro charger, you can gradually bring in the power. So it's not as hard on head gaskets and mechanical parts. But I have a lot of help with this, uh, you know, with the Nitro stuff. Nitro Salad, the owner, is a good friend of mine, has been for many, many years. You have to have help. You have to have a certain, the right people to make something like this function correctly. I can't do it all myself. Right. It's impossible. Right. Uh, so it's just definitely, it's nice to have good help and, and people to know what's going on. Um, but uh, yeah, we're really excited for next year, for sure. We plan to be, I want to be the guy that people talk about when, when, I, when I roll in. You know what I'm saying? Right. Oh shit, he's here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I want I want to be right there. I want to be a name. I don't want to be, you know, uh, back of the pack. Right. You know what I mean? So well, hopefully you can make a name tonight. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, if I can just keep it. The car goes very straight. Like I said, it probably will catch some air, but it's nothing, nothing violent. It's a whole different world once you get strapped in and you're up there. You know, once you let off that trans brake, it's there's nothing else like it. It's, it throws your ass back. But uh, I can stick the foot with all of these guys out here tonight. I just don't make enough top end horsepower to come around. Unfortunately, hmm. not this year. Uh, Little River Dragway, come on out and uh, come see some pretty badass cars tonight. Yeah.